this is the continuation of the topic bisection method in the previous lectures we have discussed the bisection method and a problem of finding the approximate root of an equation by using bisection method now we have a theorem theorem 2.1 suppose that f belongs to c of a b such that f of a into f of b less than 0 that is f belongs to set of all real continuous functions on interval a b and f of a into f of b is less than 0 that is f of a and f of b are of opposite signs then bisection method generates a sequence p n for n equal to 1 to infinity approximating a 0 p of f with the absolute value of p n minus p less than or equal to b minus a divided by 2 power n when n is greater than or equal to 1. That is this theorem states that if this condition holds then this bisection method will give us a sequence of numbers which approximates 0 of f with this condition that means satisfying this condition that means the absolute value of the difference of the original root and the approximated root is less than or equal to b minus a however our interval is a b is it is less than or equal to b minus a divided by 2 power n where n is greater than or equal to 1 actually this uh, theorem gives us a bound for approximation error or by using this we can find number of iterations needed to solve an equation f of x equal to 0 with a given accuracy to prove this we have for each n greater than or equal to 1 b n minus a n is equal to 1 by 2 power n minus 1 into b minus a and p belongs to a n comma b n here we have p is the actual root of the equation f of x equal to 0 and p n is the uh, approximate root in the nth iteration so here for any n greater than or equal to 1 we have b n minus a n is equal to this quantity because we have let this be a and this be b so if n equal to 1 we have if n equal to 1 we have this is uh, a1 and this is a uh, b1 so b1 minus a1 is b minus a itself so b minus a divided by 1 by 2 power 1 minus 1 1 by 2 power 0 so it is true if n equal to 2 we have b2 minus a2 if n equal to 2 means uh, first we have to this will be some p1 and then we can use either this or this interval depending upon the position of the original root so if you are taking this interval then this will be a2 and this will be b2 so a2 minus b2 is this or b2 minus a2 is this length this length is equal to b minus a this is b minus a this length is b minus a divided by 2 power 2 minus 1 that is 2 power 1 that is 1 by 2 that is b minus a by 2 that means this distance is uh, the half of this distance in a similar way we can verify that it, this result is true for any n greater than or equal to 1 and the actual root lies between a n and b n because if, if you are ignoring this actually uh, the root will be occur in, in this interval etc now we have p n is the nth approximate root is nothing but a n plus b n divided by 2 this is by uh, bisection method for all n greater than or equal to 1 we have the absolute value of p n minus p is less than or equal to 1 by 2 into b n minus a that is if this is a n and this is b n then we have p n will be the midpoint of this that is p n is equal to midpoint of this interval that is this will be p n so p n is equal to a n plus b n divided by 2 so if p lies p is actual root actual root of f of x equal 0 if p lies in this interval then we can ignore this and if p lies in this interval then we can ignore this interval so suppose p lies in this interval so we can ignore this and uh, for the next iteration it will be the interval okay this will be the interval so from this we get p n minus p the absolute value of p n minus p is the distance between this p n and p this is less than or equal to uh, 1 by 2 into b n minus a n 
bn minus an is this length and 1 by 2 of this length is actually it will be this. So we have pn minus p the modulus of or absolute value of this pn minus p this length is less than or equal to this length. So we have this for any n greater than or equal to 1. So more absolute value of pn minus p is less than or equal to 1 by 2 into bn minus an but we have 1 by 2 into bn minus an is nothing but b minus a divided by 2 power n because we can replace bn minus an by this so this is equal to 1 by 2 into bn minus an is b minus a divided by 2 power n minus 1 so this is nothing but b minus a divided by 2 power n so we have uh, absolute value of pn minus p is less than or equal to b minus a divided by 2 power n that means this gives us that if you are using the bisection method to find the root of an equation f of x equal to 0 taking the interval as a b then if we perform n iterations then uh, if so suppose the actual root is p and after performing n iterations the approximate root is p n then we will have this inequality that is absolute value of that is the distance between actual root and the approximate root is nothing but it is less than or equal to b minus a that is the length of our actual interval divided by 2 power n that is 2 power the number of iterations. Now we have a note since absolute value of pn minus p is less than or equal to b minus a power 1 by 2n we have the sequence pn for n equal to 1 to infinity converges to p with the rate of convergence uh, big o of 1 by 2 power n that is pn is equal to p plus the big o of 1 by 2 power n so what is the rate of convergence or order of convergence suppose beta n for n equal to 1 to infinity is a sequence known to converges to 0 that is suppose beta n is a sequence which is converges to 0 and alpha n is another sequence which converges to a number alpha this alpha n converges to the sequence alpha n converges to alpha if a positive constant k exists such that absolute value of alpha n minus alpha is less than or equal to this k into absolute value of beta n for large n then we say that this sequence converges to alpha with the rate of convergence the big of beta n or the order of convergence it is called the rate of convergence or order of convergence big o of beta n this is called the big o of beta n and it, it is indicated by writing alpha n is equal to alpha plus o, o, o of beta n that is alpha n is a sequence con which converges to alpha and we have beta n is a sequence which converges to 0 and if we have we can find uh, a positive constant k such that absolute value of alpha n minus alpha is less than or equal to k into absolute value of beta n then we can say that alpha n converges to alpha with the rate of convergence or with the order of convergence o of beta n from the above theorem we have absolute value of p n minus p is less than or equal to b minus a into 1 by 2 power n so this sequence p n converges to p with the rate of convergence o of 1 by 2 power n here our k is b minus a right k is b minus a so since by using this theorem we can say that uh, the sequence p n converges to p that is sequence p n of approximate values of root is converges to uh, the actual root p with the rate of convergence or with the order of convergence the big o of 1 by 2 power n that is p n is equal to p plus order of 1 by 2 point or o of 1 by 2 power n. Now uh, another notice uh, the theorem 2.1 gives only a bound for approximation error. Okay, that is this theorem gives uh, only a bound for the approximation error. Next we can discuss an example. Determine the number of iterations necessary to solve f of x equal to x cube plus 4x square minus 10 equal to 0 with accuracy 10 power minus 3 using a1 equal to 1 and b1 equal to 2 that is our interval is 1 comma 2 this is the problem that we solved in the previous lecture 
So here we have to find the uh, minimum number of iterations necessary to solve this with an accuracy 10 power minus 3. So we have to find an integer n such that absolute value of pn minus p is less than or equal to b minus f divided by 2 power n. This is by the theorem 2.1, this previous theorem. So we have by the theorem 2.1, the absolute value of pn minus p is less than or equal to b minus a divided by 2 power n. So we need to find n that satisfies this inequality. That means pn minus p is less than or equal to 2 power minus n into b minus a. Here we have b equal to 2 and uh, a equal to 1. So b minus a is 1. So this is 2 power minus n. Now actually this is the error between error between the actual root and the approximate root. So this is less than or equal to 2 power minus n and uh, in this problem we are given that it should be less than uh, 10 power minus 3. The, the error should be less than 10 power minus 3. So we can take this. So uh, the error is less than or equal to 2 power minus n which is less than 10 power minus 3. So from this we get uh, applying the logarithm since he, here we have 10, the base 10 so we are using the logarithm with the base 10. So uh, log, log of 2 power minus n is equal to uh, is less than log of 10 power minus 3. The log, log of 10 power minus 3 is nothing but minus 3 log 10 to the base 10 so this is minus 3. This is actually minus 3 log 10 to the base 10 so this is actually 1 so minus 3. So here we have minus n log 2 this can, this can be written as minus n log 2 is less than minus 3. So solving for n we get from this we get minus n is equal to minus 3 divided by log of 2 therefore n is greater than uh, this is less than. So n is greater than 3 by log of 2 that is approximately 9.96. So we have n should be greater than 9.96 that means we have at least we need at least 10 uh, iterations. 10 iterations are required for an approximation accurate to within 10 power minus 3. Now you can try this problem yourself. Use the above theorem to find a bound for the number of iterations needed to achieve an approximation with uh, accuracy 10 power minus 4 to the solution of x cube minus x minus 1 equal to 0 lying in the interval 1 comma 2.